थैंक यू ऑल वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन फास्ट ट्रैक टू फ्यूचर विद जेन आई पावर लेक हाउस माई सेल्फ अभिषेक आई हैड डी डेटा ब्रिक्स यू इन एल टी आई माइंड्री विद मी आई हैव माई को स्पीकर जू यंग एंड विल नो नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स विल टेक यू थ्रू यू नो हाउ द जेन आई इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट दी ओवरऑल डेटा इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट इन द माइग्रेशन एंड द अडोपन ऑफ द लेक हाउस सो क्विकली मूविंग ऑन टू दिस इज आवर क्विक एजेंडा सिंस इज अ लाइटनिंग टॉक वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू कीप इट टू i uh, will start with a very quick introductions followed by what the gen ai is buzz is about uh, you know some statistics around the gen ai and the impact that it is going to create uh, followed by the uh, data bricks and the gen ai uh, collaborations what uh, data bricks as a company has to uh, has to offer for the gen ai and what is their road plan uh, followed by a quick demo on uh, the tool accelerator that we have built just to demonstrate how easily and how accelerated your migration could be on the data bricks lake house and if the time permits we'll definitely would want to touch upon some of the risk associated with the gen ai uh, you must have heard in uh, yesterday's keynote from uh, jp morgan chess uh, even even though they are so advanced in the technology they are very cautious in terms of adopting to the gen ai and llm so we just want to highlight what are the risk associated uh, with this so quickly you know myself abhishek as i said i had the data bricks coe i have uh, been in this industry for more than uh, 22 years now uh, working primarily on building the accelerators working with the partners working with the different teams creating the solutions on azure and data bricks uh, i'll quickly let uh, my co speakers introduce yeah. themselves thank you thank you everyone uh, my name is xue yang i'm a partner solution architect at data bricks So most of my job is supporting our great partners like LTI Mindtree but my passion is always at AI and the uh, you know uh, machine learning so glad to be here and uh, thanks for joining our session yeah thanks so uh, so before we actually deep dive I, I don't want to spend time on you know explaining what the gen ai is we have heard more about it but i just wanted to emphasize on what the gen ai is what is buzz about uh, see the the difference between uh, the gen ai and say some Uh, yesterday uh, trends like cryptocurrency and all only technical people knew about that the buzz was created only among the technology uh, stack but if you look at the gen ai you know everybody is talking about it even if they are non technical they are talking about the gen ai and what is the reason behind that so there are some statistics that i have put together there is no industry segment vertical across you know across the globe that can remain untouched from the gen ai you know we are going to see the impact of the gen ai in across all the industries some of the numbers as you can see by 2025 we are expecting that 30% of the new medicals uh, the drugs and the uh, the other discovered materials there all will be generated by the gen ai around 30% of the outbound marketing which is currently in 2020 to only 2% around 30% that's an increase of 28% in in just a uh, couple of years uh, from the all the marketing content that will be generated by the gen ai a huge leap on that uh, you have already heard so many you know leaders uh, in this conference everybody is gearing up for the gen ai around 60% this is a little old statistics but it's still a very high number and uh, the gen ai is again although it's a very generic term you would see that the gen ai would be customized for their particular use cases Uh, you would have seen the lake house iq just to give an example although it's an offering it works differently for all the client so gen ai has the same thing a same problem can be solved different way for a different clients because of their different data assets it's going to disrupt the industry i know the it uh, will be impacted uh, but in a, in a good way uh, people would have to have the you know they will have the bandwidth to do you know uh, the product works uh manufacturing we are expecting right from forecasting planning supply chain management we are we are going to see the gen ai impacting that and just to conclude this slide with the final number you can look at the the ai investment that you know the industry is planning especially the second bullet point is we are going we are expecting around 422 billion dollars uh, by 2028 that's a huge opportunity that we have in the ai segment uh, that we need to latch on now why do we need a gen ai you know that's what all the buzz about what the gen ai but why do we really need a gen ai and, and and in the space of the data bricks and the data engineering where does it play a role these are very classic problem you know you go with a manual route you know the cost and the effort associated with that now with some kind of a metadata ingestion framework and all you can drastically reduce it with the gen ai and you'll see in the subsequent demo 
it can be reduced to a very great extent with a very quality output product uh, that you can you know uh, leverage for a purpose lack of optimization everybody is moving in the context of data bricks you know they are moving onto the data bricks some of them are teradata some of oracle pl sql now that legacy asset is built based on that platform and the optimization supported by that platform and most of the time people are thinking of lifting and shifting it to the data bricks which may not work because the code is not optimized for the data bricks so how do you optimize the code you know not only converting it but optimize for your target you know in this this instance data bricks so that you know you can use it optimally the last two are the very you know we we do the conversion we do the lift and shift but there are not proper test cases associated or the test cases are very legacy which were as per the legacy assets we want to do the new test cases based on your converted code how do you do that that's a very i would say a, 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 a big gap that we see whenever we see the migrations and finally you know i think probably the least favorite among everybody you know there is no documentations the legacy script would have written by a person a 10 years back today person b is converting it there was no documentations in the comments then there would not be any comment documentation now so how we can do this housekeeping work how we can put a comments we can do the auto documentation so that you know the operations can be much more seamless you know much more educative uh, going forward so these are some of the challenges and the demo that we are going to cover we'll quickly touch base on each of them but i'll pass it on to you know uh, zoo to just put some light on what the data bricks has to offer in this particular uh, area yeah thank you abhishek so as a unified platform across data and ai data bricks has provide a lot of exciting uh, uh capabilities to support the gen ai right we make it a one single place so you can develop and uh, fine tune and you De deploy and also monitor your gen ai applications right so we have built a lot of uh, tools that can uh, better inter interact with the external apis like uh, uh, open uh, open ai or google plum and uh, uh, for the customers who is interesting for build their own we also contribute to the open source uh, uh, community with a dolly model right now you can fine tune it with just a few couple uh, you know few gpus and uh, another thing we think is very important is to democratize this te technology llm is a fast uh, fast moving space right so we are other than the uh, contributed uh, dolly model we also contribute the dolly model the data set to the community so this data set is now powering most of the open source llm models out there that is com uh, fully commercially usable and we are doing more of this and uh, we are contribute more the third thing i want to emphasize is we are supporting your productionize your uh, gen ai um, applications right it's relatively easy to create a working demo in this space but it's much much harder to make something that production uh, reliable pro uh, productionize it so um, we are building those kind of application at databricks ourselves so we know uh, the first hand experience we know you will need a great data you need to quickly uh, create your data um, uh, mani ma manipulate your data clean your data and this is actually quite easy to do uh, on databricks as a uh, platform right and you also need llm ops uh, similar like ml ops uh, you will need to uh, enable you to uh evaluate your data uh, evaluate your model mon uh, uh, manage your model uh, things like that right we offer it is in ml flow uh, 3.5 and that is uh, together with uh, offered uh, as our ai platform offering and you will also need uh, mm, and we also build in the components uh, like uh, uh, working with lanchain and also a vector database to support you so last thing i want to emphasize is unified governance right with more and more regulation comes with uh, large language models uh, you will have to know exactly which data to, you used whose data was in the data set can we take it out or let's say who is using the data to do the prediction if you want to answer all of all those kind of questions i think databricks is in a unique spot that can uh, already have the uh, unified platform with uh, unity catalog is covering your uh, data and ai assets together to answer those questions and uh, support your needs so let me hand over to abhishek and he's going to showcase how they are using llm to power their on uh, databricks to power their uh, uh, applications thank you thanks zoo uh, so 
quickly moving on to it uh, this is a fun part you know uh, we'll just uh, deep dive into the demo very quickly uh, but this is our vision uh, as i said i come from the data engineering uh, background so this is for the demo purpose this is very focused to the data engineering uh, point of view but please uh, visit our booth 314 you know we'll we'll we have uh, more products more accelerators around the ai ml ml ops uh, mdm and so on and so forth so uh, if i just take you a couple of slides back you know we have talked about few of the challenges and that is what we are trying to solve with our uh, accelerator we call it as an alcazar uh, so we are using the uh, gen ai to do the code generation we can actually create the code uh, using the llms for especially the uh, very you know uh, frequently used uh, models you can do the code conversion you will see the demo on that so any legacy asset you can you know using the gen ai you can convert the code now the next two are and i would say a very big value addition to it which is not paid attentions in current world which is test case generation you have converted the code but are you sure that that code is optimized for the data bricks would it work as expected in that performant manner at the same time is it accurately converted is it going to produce the same results if i pass the same uh, test cases to it so that is something that also you can achieve followed by the i think the least favorite among all of them you know documentations the housekeeping although uh, it's very tedious i think it is very important uh, and you will see that you know how you can use the gen ai to 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 counter that you know the boring stuff of uh, doing the auto, the the documentation as well as the the commenting part of it and finally we are trying to and that's not part of the demo but as i said please uh, stop by at our booth we are trying to uh, do the nlp to sql so you have a uh, data breaks you know how you can just ask the questions uh, you know very similar or in the line of the what lake house iq uh, the the announcement that you have seen but just an nlp way of uh, analyzing your data uh, and doing all the analysis on top of that so with that uh, i'll just quickly jump onto the demo so this is our tool uh, alkazar we are supporting multiple uh, legacy assets that uh, you can migrate to the databricks uh, for the demo purpose i'll just quickly go to the teradata uh, to the pyspark uh, i'm just making a live connections there is nothing uh, in the background nothing we are providing as a manual input uh, and this is i'll just go to the the gen ai part of it this is just a configuration i'll skip it Uh, but this is where the you can accelerate your overall journey so i'm starting with the teradata uh, legacy and i want to convert it and deploy it to the databricks using gen ai so i'll just use the teradata connections the database that i want and the object type the different object type that you can select i'll just select for table for now and you can see it lists down all the different tables available on your teradata instances uh, in this instance we are migrating the schema but using the same you can migrate the uh, tables views procedures all those things i'll just take an employee table and when i do the code convert it automatically sends all your scripts uh, to the gen ai in this case we are using the azure open ai it will convert it to the databricks and it will give the results back uh, in the interest of time you know we have uh, something that has already been generated uh, the last four you know these are the gen ai additions so once you convert the code how do you further optimize it you know as i said these are the actually the pain point or the people do not want to tackle or they do not want to deal with you know consciously so we are trying to see you know how gen ai can help that um, i'll just go with the output that is generated so this was the teradata script that we have extracted directly from the teradata metadata and then you know we have converted the script the optimized one so you can see on your on the right side this is the gen ai stuff so once you execute uh, or you hit that gen ai button it has converted the code which is optimized and which is converted for the data bricks so you can actually execute directly from here upon which it will be created the schema will be created directly on the data bricks or you we have used it to add the comments you know on on the right left side you see there are no comments at all we have enhanced the code by using the gen ai so it has put the comments for each and every line of that not only that Uh, as a script as a whole you know what it is doing that is also important so it has created a documentations also we pass the appropriate parameter and there you go your auto documentation documentation has been taken care of you have what you need and finally the test case creation so if you can if you look at it based on the script that i provided it has actually created the pyspark script 
with the test data into it which you can you know directly execute from here and see you know what the output it is generating so these are you know different uh, as i said uh, the the component of the data engineering we are trying to do uh, in this instance we have converted the code we have optimized it added the comments added the documentations as well as you know we have created the test cases and uh, within the tool itself you can upload it and uh, into your uh, repository or you can execute from here um, i'll just go to the you know uh, quickly the last slide that i have which is i think very important so this is about the, the tool that we have and how we are accelerating the overall migration to the lake house using the gen ai uh, and the final part of it probably most of the people do not want to openly uh, debate or talk about it uh, which is about the risk that are associated with the gen ai right the first thing is the the speed of the gen ai i think the speed at which the gen ai is evolving it is outpacing our ability as a human to understand the risk associated with that and that's why you have seen uh, some of the industry leaders are very cautious even adopting to the gen ai you know they are trying to create their own llm platforms rather than using the open source one because of the risk associated with that the second one you know in 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 the in the previous world it was easy to kind of identify the phishing emails or a phishing contents because there will be some grammatical mistake there will be something which is not correct now with the gen ai you can actually create a very convincing uh, content which you can use to do that so it it it's it's really um, you know a point that i wanted to make that you know that the content generation will be awesome you can use it in either direction the security issues with the open gen ai this is where every organization is trying to create their own llm platform they do not want to go with the public the obvious reason is nobody wants to send their code on the open public domain and compromise them so that is one the fourth one is very you know unique uh, so you have a gen ai you have given some input it has generated some output but now who owns the copyright as a user you own the copyright or is it the gen ai platform which owns the copyright because the gen ai output is nothing but a derivative of lot of input that is uh, that is generated using lot of input data so who owns that and that could be you know going forward could be a you know a legal battle also uh, in some instances uh, and the final was the concerns of the job security um, well uh, i think in the 90s when the industry revolution came everybody was afraid about you know what is going to happen because everything is manufactured in company i think things worked out well with the computer also everybody was worried and this one also i think uh the genia is going to be the center focus in all the implementation that you would do uh and the the probably it is going to simplify a lot of uh, mundane or the you know the boring job that we have to do as part of our daily activities uh, as well as some more innovative work also that that can be done with the genia uh, but these are some genuine you know gen genuine concerns that that we see with the adoption of the genia uh in the data engineering with that you know i would want to i won't want to leave with the 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 one final line you know the potential is there for the whole universe you know new to create a new create new universe uh, but the quest, but the intent has to be asking the right questions and using the right answers you know so genia has the double sword double uh, aged sword so we need to be careful with that